I already shared some uh, recipe stuff with you. This is the stuff we did for a client. Um, do you mind pulling that up, please? Absolutely. So if you take a look at this, Tom's going to share basically a, what we did here is we made a recipe video for Philly cheat steaks. When we went live with it the first time, what we did is an actual live video. So that was like a 25 minute video or something as we're making the recipe. After we did the 25 minute recipe, we sent it on to uh, Kyle in our developing team and Kyle made this video. This 50 seconds. This is this appeals to the ASMR crowd. Can we play this now? Yeah, please. All right, let's do it. I ate so many of those. <laughs> um, I'm hungry now. See, now I'm hungry. That was a, it was a great day to be there. I can't lie. Um, but essentially, like I said, that was a long form video that got turned into a 50 second ASMR. We also did a voiceover version of that same video and put it out a few weeks later. Uh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to ask you to load the second version of that, please. Okay. So uh, just to kind of recap what um, Kevin's talking about is that video in itself was uh, version number two. The first one was the voiceover. The second one is obviously catering to the crowd that likes those uh, vibrant sounds, right? Mm. The ASMR crowd, right? And th there's an acronym for that. Feel free to Google it. I don't remember top uh, top of mind. Oh, if okay. you do, Kev, go. Okay. So um, it's something that as a foodie, what is it? Foodie is foods are visual. They're stimulating. They're, they appeal to your senses, right? So that's where you can take that very first, say, um, all the A roll content and B roll content, chop it up in that sense, right? Have your, your team do this, but then also add these sounds if they weren't included in that original clip. So then it basically stimulates those uh, different senses when someone's watching it, right? Mm -hmm. Some people like instructional videos and some people just like following along, right? right? It's different strokes, different folks, right? That was what we did off the top. So there's a live video, there's a voiceover, there's a 50 second ASMR. Uh, if we check out the next one, okay. uh, these are just different slides. So you can just look at slide one. Okay. Just do slide one, slide two, basically. You should be able to advance here. So what we're doing here, this is for Instagram. This is a video slideshow. This is something that I actually got from you, Tom. Thank you. So after you get your four or five second clip right there, then you have to scan over to the next one. And what happens when we scan over to the next one? Inter Instagram gives us those interaction points, right? Yeah. So now this is actually, you know, it's the same content, but now it's giving different people more chances to interact. I put this one farther along in the cycle. Yeah. Because you know, people who want the recipe video are going to watch the recipe video first. People watching the, the back shot, not the back shots. That's not the right word. <laughs> God, cut that out. <laughs> yeah, not, so people that know. are watching it after the fact, um, you know, we're basically giving them other firm, other forms of content to catch on to. They all go back to the blog posts, like I said before, right? And then on the blog post, we have a way to catch their name, email, phone number, and we also make them an offer if they want to find some great uh, products like the ones we use in this video, they can opt in here. And we're actually going to give them, I forget what the offer is on that one. I think it's 50 pounds of ground beef added to their order for free. So right? think about this. Let me unpack what Kevin, you just said and did, right? So mm -hmm. the very first one that we didn't watch was the voiceover one. Second one no, no, no. is the very first live video. Live video. See, first was live video. Then it was the voiceover, right? Mm -hmm. And then number three version, which is the very first one that we showcased, was the ASMR one, which is all the sounds and the sizzles and all that stuff, right? And mm -hmm. then 
Uh, version number four, which is what we just watched right now, is the slideshow version. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me unpack that for you guys in the sense of utilizing this, right? So, for example, the two the two videos that we watched already from Kevin, the very first one, um, we can use as you can tell, right, from the um, the screen share that these are all vertical videos. Vertical videos. If you re guys recall, what platforms can you put vertical videos on? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube as a short and uh TikTok, right so that one type of video can go into four different places on top of that what kevin did was in the one that we just watched the slideshow version um he's leveraging instagram's carousel feature and what he did was he broke up that video into four different slides in the carousel so here's some cool nuances right geeky nuances with utilizing carousels carousels can either be videos and or images you clearly just saw that those are videos what happens with carousels though is the unique thing about them in Instagram is um, what happens is when the carousel is first published, what ha what Instagram does in terms of the algorithm is it tries to see how many people like that first slide and then the engagement on that, right? However that performs, right? The second round, what uh, Instagram does is it'll take that second slide, okay? Hear me on that? Second slide, i.e. in this case, second video, and then it will take that and then send that out as well to see what um, what the consumption rate is on that in terms of how entertaining it is on that, right? So the nuance behind that is you can utilize the same video, but also post it as a carousel and or a reel on Instagram and get different lift points or test and, and basically repurpose that same thing in a different way. And also the third thing that Kevin did was he utilized different backend offers on all of these posts as well. So I wanted to just basically highlight that and unpack the people that are that are watching this.